Hi, people of the internet, interweb, cyberspace. What's up? How are you? My name's Rhiannon Page, in case you didn't know. I'm going to be talking just freely about why I left college after my first year. Because some people have asked me, and I think if anybody ends up searching for this kind of video because they feel like they're in the same place, then maybe this will help in some way. I don't really know how, but it might help somebody. <laughs> It's not anything that I'm embarrassed to talk about, but I just haven't talked about it yet. I mean, not with a camera, that's for sure, but also not super in-depth with anybody besides my f immediate family. Where to begin? So, my first year of college was not actually bad, and that whole first year experience was not actually even why I decided to leave school. If you watch, I have literally a whole video of my Parsons first year experience. I, I think I say in it that like my first year was great, I really enjoyed my time at Parsons. I actually did, and I still feel that way. I loved my first year. The first semester, not so much, just because of like where I was living, but the second semester was fantastic. I had the best roommate ever, and I liked my classes so much more than I did in my first semester, so, and I actually made Dean's List in the second semester. That's how much more I enjoyed it. I actually made the Dean's List because I loved what I was doing more than I did in the first semester. So, the problem that I had was when I got home, like last summer, when I came home from school, and I started to realize that I, this happened to me before I went to college, but I think it was more normal then because it was like just being nervous about going to school and being away from my family and being away from home, but it started to creep up on me that everything was going to change in terms of actual schoolwork. It was going to be more focused on my major. All of my classes were going to be focused around one thing instead of just all of them being different. It was all about photography, and I love photography. I love taking pictures. I've loved it for seven or eight years now, but the actual setting of having to be in a classroom with a bunch of people learning the same thing was daunting and it was terrifying me because I was so scared of feeling like I had to compare myself to whoever was going to be in my classes and if they were better than me what was I going to do if I didn't know stuff what was I going to do all those kinds of fears and thoughts were like creeping into my head pretty much immediately like once I realized that second year was going to be that way I mean which I knew the whole time from like my whole first year but it wasn't a problem then so I didn't have to worry about it as much. I worked all summer, I was saving all my money, getting ready to go back to school, and then, especially leading up, like in the last few weeks leading up to when I knew I was going to have to leave, all of those fears were growing. And not only that, but I am, am an anxious person. When I lived in New York last year, all of last year, and it wasn't just in the first room that I was in, it was also in the second room, I dealt with problems and OCD problems with like the cleanliness. It didn't feel very clean is the point. That's what I'm trying to say. And it wasn't just the rooms that I was living in, it was just like the city itself. And that was not a good feeling. When I came home, my anxiety went from like all the way up here to way down here, which is weird. And I understand people don't understand that because I don't expect people to unless you're like living with it and have to deal with it. But it was a very big problem for me. I'm not saying that I dropped out of school for cleanliness reasons. Mostly the big reason was actually dealing with schoolwork. That's what was weighing on me the most. I cracked and I was like, I don't think I'm going to be able to handle this. I had to be honest with myself and I said if this feeling is correct and it's going to continue for now through the rest of my college experience, I am going to be so unhappy. I could feel that feeling and I didn't want to deal with that, but it was especially hard for me to actually do something about it because there were pretty much three things that were really keeping me from going home. Technically it's like a leave of absence and that's still what's happening. I'm technically on a leave of absence. It was just for last semester and now it's for the spring semester also so it's for the whole year. I could go back next fall. I don't really feel like I want to. I mean that could change tomorrow. I could wake up tomorrow and be like yes I want to go back but right now it doesn't feel that way. The three things that were keeping me. Number one, New York itself. This isn't in like an order of importance, but number one, the first thing was just New York. I was so excited to be living in New York. I've loved it forever. It's my favorite city and I did not want to leave. Then I was thinking to myself, well, that's not a reason to stay because if your parents are going to have to, you know, just pay for you to go through school, you're not going to enjoy school, but you're going to be living in New York. Like, that's not fair. That's not really fair to anybody. That was one of the reasons. The second reason, was my best friend Quinn. She goes to another school in New York City and I was very scared 
of her feeling like I was going to leave her or abandon her there and I didn't want her to feel that way and I didn't want to leave her because she's my best friend in the whole wide world and I don't ever want to upset her intentionally. This was more of a thing where it was like I had to do it for myself. The third thing is my roommate and I mean my, my other friends but Dipshika and I, we have a very special relationship. I could tell her when anything that she did or anything that anybody else did or like literally anything was bothering me and she would be hesitant to tell me when things were bothering her but I could always tell and then I would force her to tell me anyway and I was so excited to live with her again and we were going to be living with two of our other friends they were our sweet mates I mean I saw her every day I literally lived with her in very close quarters and I actually enjoyed it because my whole first semester I hated it I hated my living situation and then to go from that to like absolutely loving where I was living and who I was living with was amazing. Those were like the big three reasons that I didn't want to leave school. Why I realized that I had to leave school, I knew the unhappy feeling that I was having was going to continue. And by the way, in case like nobody knows, I went to school this fall, fall of 2016, for my second year. I was there for like 10 days and I went to all of my classes once and I hated it. I had that feeling when I was sitting in them the whole time. The weight of all of that was crushing. I was like, nope, I don't like this. I don't, I really don't like this. I don't want this to continue. I don't want it to get worse. I didn't want my work to suffer. I love creating things. Being creative is, that's like my thing. Whether it's taking pictures, whether it's talking to a camera or doing my online work, it's all very creative and that's just who I am as a person. And I did not want any of my creative work to suffer from my own feeling of unhappiness that I knew I had the power to change. That's how I ended up leaving school. I mean, there were some more things to it, much more personal things, but I've gotten pretty personal. So, thank you for watching my like story time ramble thing. I don't even know what to call this. I hope this was helpful to at least one person if maybe you feel like you're going through the same thing that I went through. If you have any questions that you don't want to be like public on YouTube, people have found me on Instagram. I've forgotten to like ever say my Instagram name here, but it's at Rhiannon Page and you can DM me if you have questions or you can just leave a comment the good old fashioned way. If you didn't know, I have a new posting schedule for 2017, posting videos every Thursday and Sunday. Pretty sure this is going up on Sunday, so I will see you Thursday. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Whatever forever. Bye Felicia!